So yeah, you're a casual player and you just wanna have fun. You don't wanna be using those sweaty cards that everyone is using out there. So today I'm here to show you some of the best play cards for you that you don't care about pace. You are only looking for a centre back who can do the job because you are below division two, which is absolutely fine. You don't wanna use Joe Gomez. So I'm here to bring you some alternatives. More than likely, you are the type of person that used Wes Morgan, really enjoy them, and actually use him for a fair bit of time. I actually don't like this type of cards, but if I'm absolutely honest with you, the reason why I got into FIFA and the reason why I got into helping you guys pick the best cards was because at first, I only wanted to use cards like this. I only wanted to use cards like this Elvedi, for example, who is an absolute machine. Like, you look at it from a perspective of an average player. Bro, this guy, 3-3, three, three, he stopped. Well, why didn't I Why didn't I even say his skills in weak foot? This guy has insane defending. He's an 83 rated center back. 78 pace. Four high ranks will not be good enough. But for lower ranks, where you just want to have a little bit of fun, this is a sick card. He can even pass the ball in short, shortly. He has that decent strength. And maybe even if you don't care that much about pace, maybe even put anchor on him. He needs a little bit more aggression and jumping. And that's not a problem. Like You can just put it on the card and he'd be, do he'd be dope. Now, um, this is... No Another really, really nice card. This Demir Valley is actually one of my favorites in this list. Because first, price. Second, he links to a lot of players. Third, you put Shadow on him, 87 pace. You put Anchor on him, 87 pace. Uh, sorry, 82 pace with insane strength. If you really are playing against people who are not that good at the game, and you're not that good, this is going to be perfect for you. Honestly, he has insane standing tackle, sliding tackle, interceptions, 88 rated center back, or 88 rated the same with a Shadow on. Now, this is going to be below uh, between 10k and 150k. Hopefully, we can make it all the way to 150. Let's pray to the gods that we can. So yeah, if by this point you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to leave a like, my guy. This town here has a lot of potential. I was looking at him when he got the fair, this first inform. It was a bit, no, not that long ago. But I think he has a fair bit amount of potential. One more inform and he becomes 82. Another one and he becomes 84, I think it is. I think as an 84 rated, this guy could have like 77 pace with like 90 physicality and be like an 85 rated center. But this guy has a ton of potential. Right now, 73 pace. Again, you can put a shadow on that one. This Paulo Diaz, if we get a few links to players like this, I would say this is the perfect player for, for average players. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He... I am sure he has some decent links, uh, some decent strong links. You know, he has a strong link to that keeper and he should have a strong link to a left back or yeah, to a right back. That's actually quite decent. This Montiel guy. This guy has the fair bit amount of pace. His fair, his good bit amount of physical. Good enough that he can just apply shadow and he has 92 pace and 86 defending. If you're a casual player and you really want to try something different, a 79 rated center back who's actually 86 rated when you put in the Sharon, who has decent links for fun, bro. This is beautiful. Continuing. This Soyunko, again, 72 pace, looks decent. Marquinhos would be, I would say, this is the epitome of, of, of a player that someone that plays against casually could use because even though his pace is low, he has a lot of defending. So he's, he's always going to be in position. You can apply an anchor on. I'll personally put a shadow. I know you're a casual player, but it, if you're going to pick players that are not that pacey, I would recommend you put a shadow on at least, you know, I think it, it, it benefits you more having a player with over 80 pace than having a player with over 80, 80 strength. But again, you do you, my guy. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to bring awareness around some sick cards here. If you, so just so that you don't use Laporte. I, I'm here just showing you cards that have over 72 pace. Just so that you don't use players out of Laporte. This is another beautiful example. This Kavak goes for 18k. Yes, you're better off using Joe Gomez. Yes, that's a fact. But... This guy is strong. He has decent short and long passing. He has decent composure. He should be able to hold the ball with ease. Good pace. Good phys defending, man. Why are we? Why are we all uh, like staying away from people like him when he's not that bad? Anyways, this Lengle is another one. Like, if you see someone having Lengle on their back line, they are 100%. You know, they, they just don't play the game to sweat it. They play the game to have a bit of fun here and there one day or the other. But they shadow on this beast and you have 95 defending a 90 rated center. But you can put an anchor on if you want him to have that 90 strong strength. Absolutely and brutally great player. Again, someone I wouldn't use, but it's a great car whatsoever. This Nyakite, bro, these players, players like these Nyakite are my favorite ones. Are my favorite ones. Why? Because these are players that you can apply an anchor on. 
and you boost that. Defending a lot, he's physical a lot, and even though he has 86 pace, he does have 94 spin speed. I don't know if he should be better the other way around, but he has decent links in the league. The price is not bad. More than likely, over time, he will only rise because of his links, because he's a team of the week player, because there's going to be no supply. Again, another one that I really like is players like Inigo. This, bro, there is so many nice players here that I'm finding for you. This Inigo Martinez, bro. He doesn't even need more strength. He puts shadow. He has the good, the cool combo. 83 strength with 89 aggression. Aggression is a little bit more important strength just so that they actually get the ball when they try and go for the challenge. And then plays like Goldson. This is one that I, I think he needs another upgrade. He needs another upgrade for me to actually consider him. It's just that the defending is a little bit low. Um, we care if at least if you have dead pace at least have 82 defending you know what i'm saying but then the strength is there you can put a shadow on this beast this this Grichito is is my type of player this is going in from an average player to a little bit sweaty just because in this case you're sacrificing strength to have the extra passing but you still remain with that defending you put a sh uh, you put an anchor on this with 82 pace 84 defending an 87 rated center back who can actually hold his ground past the ball to me that that is what i what a lot of people need in their defense i think players like this the Neyer, hopefully we get to the 84 one let's talk about the 84 one straight away this is your guy bro this is your guy man this is your guy. For every casual player, this is your guy. You put an anchor on this beast and you have Van Dyke. Bir Virgil the Neyer. Bir Virgil Van the Neyer, bro. Oh, 96, def 96 strength. 92 defending with 85 pace with an anchor. And 91 rated center back for 38k, bro. I swear, you're going to have it hard to find a guy as pace as this guy, as good as this guy with the stats, with the right cams on. And with high defending work rate, so he always stays down the back. Um, there is a, let's try and speed through a little bit of these. I think this Opara is a little bit sweaty. You can definitely put him on. You put an anchor on him. He's a little bit sweaty. I wouldn't go for any version of stones just because I think they are a little bit overpriced. You could just get Kavak, if I'm honest with you. Um, this Elvedi is another, like just like the, the Neyer, this is the epitome of an absolutely an insane player for you. If you play the casually Shadow, he has 90 pace. You're getting in that area of like sweaty and casual at the same time, but you still remain with that. I care about defending, 95 defending. You put an anchor on and you have a 90 92 defender again another beautiful uh, definitely an hombre and um, upgrade from um if you get the akite then you can get this guy and these four down here are other beautiful beautiful examples bro beautiful examples of insane looking players this integrated Hinteregger, sorry. I mean, the one that I like is the 87. 79, bro, look at this. 79 pace. Insane start already. You can just apply a shadow and you have 89 pace. Over 90 on every single defending stat. Good long passing. In case you want to move the ball on the back, you stay with Bundes and you know there are a lot of good players in Bundesliga that are not sweaty at all. And you can have fun, man. This Akanji is one of my, again, another one of my personal, personal favorites. You put a sh an anchor on, you have 93 strength in, well, the defending is like, it's not like insane, but it's good enough. The passing is there, the pace is there, and the links are there. He, yeah, definitely, there is some dormant players that you can put him on. If you like players like Haaland, you can do it. And then you can even put these two together. This is the lady, another beautiful car. You put an anchor on. 80, what, what's up with that, by the way? 80 pace and it's 77, 79, 79. But what? You put an anchor on, you have 91 defending, 93, uh, 91 physical, 93 defending. And two pass all around. He can go and attack. The thing. This is beautiful. He has low attack and work rate. See, this guy will, need, will not go up. Not even if Megan Fox is in the other in the other area of the pitch, bro. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And again, as we talk, this Denayer to me is one of the most beautiful cards. Like, if I hopefully we can do a, a list of my favorite ones later on. And I, I'm telling you, bro, that Denayer. I like Inigo, but like I, I, I still, even though I don't like pay, like. Even though we're sacrificing pace here, I think pace is a really important stat to consider. But if we can maintain something like pace, like with these Diaz, like the, with these Demir Bao, we have 87. With the, well, these Elvedi out because we have them. So if we can go for players like this, this Demiral, Diaz, Elvedi, the Neyer, this Delaney, this Akanji, Hinteregger, yeah, but I, was, I, I like him, but I will go for the others just for the price difference. Then. 
Going up to the top this is the last part of the list. We have Integer, we looked at him already. Cooley Valley is one that a lot of you will not consider because you know you would say ah he's SBC fodder. But in game, my guy has 94 strength. I think he has a unique body type. Normally, if a player has a unique body type, they're cracked in game. EA makes like some specific animations for them that are cracked. 97 defending, insane pace. You're looking at a great card. You're looking at a great card. And this Romagnoli, ah, 72 pace for me is pushing it because you really do have to put a shadow on him. But at the same time, he has low physical. You know, we want to stay casual, but at the same time, we want to stay a little bit competitive. I would, I would always try and aim for at least over 80 pace. At least. You're not going for 90 because you're not sweaty. We accept that. But also accept the fact that through balls are going to rinse you if you don't go down. You know, if, if you don't take that uh, extra measurement to make sure that you get pay a little bit of pace. Players like Cone, they are great. This guy, over time, he has maintained his price. This one that, again, anchored on 87 strength. I know he ain't got the best height. So you can go for someone like Impembe then. This definitely needs a shadow one. You can even put anchored. He has 81 pace, though. In 97 strength. Wow, that would be beautiful, that. John Stone, 75 pace. I mean, yes. What about his strength? I think he's not that strong. I mean, 84, 84. Seek passing. You put his shadow on 85 pace his 86 uh i mean just because i showed you kavak before in it you can just go for kavak bro and no need to pay 100k for this guy when you can just get kavak for now you know what i'm saying we go for kosia varan <laughs> why why is this guy at this list but this is to me like you don't play <laughs> this is the perfect type of center of course if you play the game casually why not play him with anchor lad 92 rated defender with 87 pace not that bad you know what i'm saying um this bro this marcel is a really nice uh, addition this super mecano van dyke is not for casual players no way so let's look at this super mecano ju just to give you a, a little bit of perspective you can just put a shadow on 93 strength 91 defending 90 pace i think these all of these are really nice cards i would of course i'll still go for the likes of varan i'll still go for the likes of other cards but if you can get yourself a marcelo like this guy he's 88 rated he has insane physical you put a shadow on he can pass he has 85 defending which 85 pace which again okay cool it could be higher whatever but you can definitely use this guy low attacking work rates will never go up he will always stay down the back he will shoot it to like the end, to the other side of the world without finishing his shot power com combined actually he has bad long shot jesus christ you can only shoot like one meter one meter away from him but shadow on 85 pace hopefully he gets the upgrade i'm 100 confident he can get the upgrade uh, to eight, to 90 rated and have like 78 pace because he got a plus 20 pace upgrade ea knows what they're doing they know 75 is a good, good good spot to have the players on so yeah i think that's good for now if you guys want me to do other, other positions if you guys like this you're like oh my god crunch i like you making more stuff for casuals i'm a casual player myself i don't like to use baran i don't like to use sweaty players because i just don't enjoy that let me know man and i can bring you more stuff i think no not enough people are are making content for casual players not enough people are making content for casual players and that's unfortunate because i think not everyone wants to sweat the game and that's something that i have come to understand over time a lot of you just want to have a little bit of fun you just want to try a different player you just want to have you just want to say something different so here is my main top two go to list below 100, between 10k and 150k we go for a kanji you put an anchor on him 89 rated center back crunch who do i link him with there you have it you have the delaney again an anchor with you have 84 84 pace you can put a shadow on this beast as a kanji already has good strength you can have one with strength the other one without strength so you're going into a little bit of sweatiness but at the same time you're still remaining you're still remaining casual you are using different players and then okay cool you know what i don't want to use bundes go for Ligun. the Neyer. he has that green link to marcelo if you want to bring marcelo into your team you put an anchor on 85 pace sick defending the beer as i said beer your band the Neyer. insane card elvedi this is to me from the full list might even be the most underrated one easily easily he has a link to Zakaria, which more than likely is going to be one of the non-sweaty players that we touch on on other positions this paulo diaz to me is another absolute beast you stay casual but at the same time you stay relevant 92 base 86 defending with 85 physical you try something different and at the same time your, your opponent doesn't even know what you're doing and this demiral brings a nice little alternative to seria i don't know why romero is not in this i would have liked to show you romero i have no clue why someone like romero maybe i missed him but romero there you go this romero 
is another brilliant choice because this guy has good agility and balance which is so underrated people don't know how important agility and balance is on defenders i know you're not sweaty but it's good to try some players that have that little bit of have those stats that could make them that much better so yeah agility and balance of the roof beautiful stuff i hope that i touched on every single player that you wanted to look at i hope that i helped if you like the video like the video love you all see you goodbye